Hey guys, welcome to a super secret episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. I haven't done one of these in a long time. If you saw my uh, bottle share video from, was it October or November? I think it was November. Um, uh, my friend Dave from my work brought this bottle, well not this bottle, but this beer, the Coney Island Barrel Aged Human Blockhead Imperial American Bach. Very small uh, run on this one. This is batch number two. They've only they only do this once a year so far, and they only did a thousand and two cases. And this beer was bottled on May twenty fifth, so it's almost seven months old by the time I'm drinking it now. So we get into the glass here. It has an absolutely beautiful burgundy, burgundy ruby red, hint of orange color to it. For such a huge beer, I mean, look at this, it's 10.83%. Um, generates a really big head with a, not even with that vigorous of a pour. Um, smell, wow. This is, I mean, technically this is a, a Doppelbach, but it just smells so much like an, Eng it's like an English style barley one because it's so malty that really, it's not like a stone or any of the West Coast barley wines where it's super hoppy. This one is just all malts. Um, cherry, vanilla, prune. Uh, there's definite alcohol in there. It's it's like rum, like spice rum. I'm probably repeating a lot of the flavor notes we had got at the bottle share. But um, yeah, this, this beer was so good at the bottle share. I went out and bought three more bottles. And Chris Stelz at Beer Geek Nation said, said he was going to trade with me, but I have yet to hear back from him. So let me know what's going on with that, Stelz. Anyways, let's give uh, the Barrel Age Blockhead a try. Cheers. <laughs> wow. This thing hits my tongue and just, like, envelops it. Like, it's, like, so thick and and soft. The only other thing I can compare it to is like one of those vintage JW Lee's barley wines. Or well Harvest Sales technically. Um it just hits it like with that like real viscosity to it. Not I wouldn't go as far as to say it's tepid though. I mean it's got plenty of, of carbonation going on here. I mean look at that head. Um but yeah it just it hits your tongue like with a thud of sweetness and it just kind of spreads out all over it and like all those uh, flavors I was tasting or smelling on the nose like getting in the mouth just cherry, vanilla, fruitcake, you get like butterscotch um, even though it's aged in bourbon barrels like I don't get I, okay like I get the bourbon taste because this is there's a definite flavor component here which is like you recognize that from like a Founders uh, KBS or a Goose Island Bourbon County any of those other types of Imperial Stouts that are aged in bourbon barrels even Brown's Whiskey Barrel Porter um, just minus the kind of bitterness my, like you're just, just getting the sweetness not much in the way of bitterness like I don't get any like coffee or anything on here I'm just getting like that wood that vanilla that, that rum all that intense sweetness. The alcohol works with this one really well. Um, yeah, you're getting... Because it's kind of like drinking a liqueur. It actually is a rather boozy. Um, I mean, it's, it's not surprising. I mean, it's almost 11% ABV. But I mean, like, you know, I we could drink, like... I got, like, a f Southern Tier chocolate in the fridge. That's 11%. And that, you know, no alcohol presence in that at all. In this case, like, it, it really works with it to, like, really give it that heat, to give it that, um, uh, just like that, like, like I said, kind of like rum quality, maybe, um, I mean, I don't really know a lot about, you know, the distilled spirits and stuff, but, I don't know, maybe, I mean, bourbon, yeah, sure, it's aged in bourbon barrels, uh, whiskey, finishing with thick, thick vanilla, it's almost like vanilla extract. Um. Wow, this is really good. It's it's a sipper though. I mean, this is like a nightcap type beer, and I'm actually drinking in the middle of the day. Um, this is a treat to myself because I uh, 
I ran the equivalent of a half marathon today. So I had all the extra calories to burn. I'm off work. So I'm going to drink this bottle, take a nap. By the time I wake up, it'll be dinner time. So. Um, as for the rating, um, yeah, this is this is definitely a 10 out of 10. This is one of the best beers I've had this year, one of the best beers I've ever had. Um, I'd like to try it with a few years on it. Maybe some of the alcohol will kind of mellow out. I mean, if you go back and watch the bottle share video, that's what everybody was saying. But I'm just like, I mean, it's great. It's great now. Like, you don't really need to age it unless, like, you're just put off by that alcohol. I mean, you can see, you can see the legs on it. This fantastic dessert beer. Um, real sp in a special occasion. It was expensive. It was $11.49 for this one bottle, so it's over twelve dollars after tax and deposit. Um, but definitely, definitely worth it. I mean, this is something. It's it's the only thing you could compare this to would be like uh, Sammy Klaus. That's a imperial. I think that's like fourteen percent, and that's also a you know imperial Hellesbach or Doublebach or whatever you want to call it. So that one's not oak age. This one is, and this this blows that beer out of the water. Um, I will be re-reviewing that around Christmas time. I mean, this beer really has nothing to do with Christmas, other than I wanted to review it this year because this will make the top 10 of 2012 list. I don't know if it's going to be number one. Probably, no, it's not going to be number one, but it should be in the top five. So, um, thanks to my friend Dave who picked this up. Um, otherwise, I probably never would have came to my attention. So, yeah, 10 out of 10 for Coney Island barrel age human blockhead I think I reviewed the regular one in, in the mix pack review and I, I just remember it being like you know uh, not very memorable <laughs> so anyways this is going on very long thanks for watching this super secret episode check out my blog I have the full text review on there thanks for watching cheers <laughs>